What's up all my crazy reefers out there, man? I got a nice update for you. It's gonna be a long one, a good one. We're gonna check out some corals. Kick back and watch this video. Well, like I said, I got a nice update for you guys. Um, you know, when you like something, you watch YouTube, uh, sometimes the videos are just too short. So if this video is too long, you can go ahead and add it to your watch later or whatever. But I'm going to give you a nice update. And uh, the products that I've been using on my tank, uh, I've been using Brightwell. Um, and I've been using their products for the coloring up of my corals, the Alk Calcium. I've been using Aquamax and all of that stuff. You can use uh, my code 915MANG on Marine Depot. And then you can go ahead and save yourself 10% on those products. So let's take a look at some of my SPS. We'll take a look at some of my corals. And just a disclaimer, my tank is definitely not perfect. I know you guys are SPS masters and have it got going on. But man, you cannot deny that uh, these blues... And this tank is looking pretty, pretty sweet. And the way that I've been getting my uh, tank looking pretty sweet, um, you can see right there that blue, that teal. I got that one from uh, Mr. Budman Corals, and it's looking good. It came in looking real good. I got that one also from uh, Mr. Budman's Corals. Um, tell him that you saw my video and say hello. Um, and uh, the stuff is doing pretty good. The green slimer. This one is doing... Okay, it's encrusting, uh, but the color is just not there. Uh, it's a little bit better than the way I got it. And when I got it, it looked uh, pretty crappy, to be honest with you. Um, these SPS right here on the top are all doing good. Um, I got the T5s on 100%. I, uh, my Aquatic Life T5 Hybrid Light, um, I got four bulbs there, 80 watts each. And I'm running the Coral Plus. And the blue plus, two coral plus and two blue plus. I just wanted to show you my blue hippo tang right here. On, on the video, it's probably not going to look so blue, but in person, I just was amazed on how brilliant his blue was looking. Uh, now, my corals, like I said, I've been using the Brightwell Aquatics. That has been doing really good for my tank as far as the colors. And I've also been using Aquamax. Um, Potassium. Now, if you ask me the potassium, why are you using the Aquamax? One, it's not that expensive. And two, the potassium seems to be bringing out those blues in the corals. And I just, I'm not even using a doser, guys. I just squirt it in my tank um, like every two days. And that's about it. And you can see my corals have been doing good. This one is nice, red, deep, and uh, fuzzy. It has a little bit of green to it. Um, I know it's not a uh, Red Planet. I've had Red Planet before, and uh, that one is doing great. I got this one right here from uh, Buddy Allen at the Coral Reef. Um, his bro is running it now, so I need to go pay him a visit and say what's up. Uh, and this one I got from Allen also is doing really good. has like some purple. Um, check out my, uh, what do you call this one? Strawberry some Shortcake. And you can see, guys, that pink right there is popping. And it, it kind of just took off after the uh, T5s. I got that piece from Alan. I don't know the name of it, but uh, the blue right there is popping. So that's why I'm saying use some of that potassium in your tank. Dose it. Uh, I'm not an SPS master. I do actually have a doser. If you want a nice Wi-Fi doser, you can pick one up on uh, Reef Breeders. 
and uh, you can click on my link below and then um, go from there but uh, I'm not using my doser at the moment I am using uh, Brightwell Aquatics Calc Plus 2 and I'm just running that in my auto top off you can see how big this anemone is I have one clownfish um, but I don't plan on adding any more fish at all anyways I want to see what's going on with your guys tanks how are you guys doing uh, have you guys gotten in trouble by buying any extra corals uh, my tank is so stocked right now that I can go buy coral and the wife won't even notice unless she uh, pays attention to the uh, bank account but uh, you know and, and I'm not suggesting that you guys do it but before when you first got your tank you know you got it got something and everybody knows this, but my tank is so stocked now and I'm gonna show you how stocked right here in a minute um, that it's kind of funny I can just get whatever I want added to the tank and uh, you won't really be able to tell the difference so what's new with this tank um, aside from adding the aquatic life t5 hybrid um, tank right there everything's pretty much the same except if you pay close attention to the corals I have pretty much moved out all my uh, zo my zoas, my zoanthids, and I moved them to my 25 gallon lagoon. I gave you an update on that uh, not too long ago, and uh, everything's over there just because it's easier for me uh, because my ras in here would uh, flip everything over, and I like the way that it looks. This was starting to become an SPS dominant tank, um, as you can see. I picked up a lot of different frags. I picked some up from uh, my buddy Matt. In my last video, we went off-roading. He, this is actually one of his pieces. Don't know the name of it, but uh, the green and the purples are going pretty good. This one looks like it's hanging on. Um, I guess it's not really happy with my tank, um, but I'm gonna try to keep it alive. And I'm really loving these blue corals um, because they just pop. This one is a something heartbreaker that I picked up from Mr. Budman and uh, looks like it's doing okay. It's hanging in there. I have been using the uh, Brightwell uh, Aquatics, you know, coral coloration food. And uh, this one is a, a forest fire digi. It is hanging on to dear life. I almost killed it, but uh, now it's starting to show red polyps and you can kind of see the green wants to pop out. Um, it was, I had got a big piece of this from my buddy Alan and, uh, it's starting to do okay. It's hanging on this one. Not so much. What I have done in my tank is, uh, I've cranked up the flow quite a bit and, uh, I'm hoping that that helps out my SPS because, you know, SPS love some flow. Now I am going to be showing you some parts of my tank that I'm not so happy about is Aptasia and I've also come up with the problem of Asterina starfish. Um, I bought some stuff called Frank from Frank's uh, called uh, F Aptasia and I'm going to give another dose of F Aptasia to this Aptasia and uh, we'll try to kill it like that. The reason it wasn't so successful in the uh, 150 is because the uh, flow I have it cranked up so it destroys the shell. Um, you're supposed to have the flow off for like 20 minutes, but if you have a tank that has high flow, um, that shell is gonna break a little bit faster. But let's take a look at something else. I'm gonna do a nighttime update of this tank because the corals totally look different um, and you notice a lot more, but I got these clothes. These are those TSA firework clothes from uh, Budman Corals. And what you can't see is that pink right there. That pink just pops like crazy when that blue is on. Um, but I'm going to show you a different update. We'll do a different nighttime update there. So anyways, uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I try to do some badass update videos for you uh, every Sunday, ranging from different people's tanks, to my tanks, to what I'm doing, to projects, and uh, you know, just kind of keep it interesting. I've been pretty consistent for the last couple of years. Uh, what I do want to show you, which I was pretty amazed because usually when the T5 lights are on, I'm usually at work, 
But today I played a little bit of hooky, which I uh, hope you guys do too. Um, if you guys play hooky, enjoy the little ones before they go to school. And uh, go do something cool with them. Take them to the movies. Don't just stay home and uh, watch TV. In this case, I stayed home and I made a YouTube video, but my kids are back to school, as you can see in the beginning of the video. So be sure to stay tuned and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be showing you some more band videos, some more band clips, whether you like it or not. The thing is, I like it. I don't really try to copy anybody else's YouTube. I just do what I do, what I like to do, and uh, hopefully that's what keeps you guys coming back uh, to these videos. Now, let's check out the uh, right of the tank, this chalice. I got this from my buddy Matt. And uh, I just kind of put it on the corner of the tank. Uh, the reason why I put it on the corner of the tank is because of Coral Warfare. If you guys have chalices next to SPS, go check out your chalices one night. About 11, 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. And you're going to see sweepers stinging the hell out of your SPS. Especially if you guys have some Hollywood Stunner. That chalice is ruthless. Going to reach out and destroy something. Now my lights, my lights are the Reef Breeders Photon version 2 lights. Uh, you can pick, check those out below. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, feed my tank uh, some of that Nios food, Goji food. And it does really well. Um, on my other tank though, my Lagoon, I'm running Radeon's XR15s. But for the 150, I just couldn't get rid of the uh, Reef Breeders Photon version 2 light because it is... A single plug, it's legit. It throws some crazy colors out there, and uh, I just love this light. It just blends the colors really, really well. And uh, I'm curious how many of you guys have met Logan at the uh, reef shows. I know he goes to the reef shows. Uh, I don't, I wish I could. I just live too far away from the east coast and west coast. I'm kind of like right in the middle of the United States, right at the tip of uh, Texas bordering El Paso, uh, New Mexico, and Mexico. So I'm kind of right there. Uh, my buddy Tim is also from the area. I wanted to do a feeding video, you know, throw some pellets in the uh, water so you guys can check out all my fish. Uh, the purple tang was acting like Jaws the last couple of videos, and he was just beating up my Scopus. And as you can see, they're swimming around together just like buddies. They're not uh, really puffing up on each other. And we did everything. We did the mirror trick. We printed out pictures. Uh, we did quite a bit. We like overfed. Um, I did a lot of stuff uh, to, you know, kind of help that aggression. And the best thing was that you guys commented on was the uh, bathroom mirrors. Those kinds that you can buy that stand up. Just run it across your tank and... Uh, tape it up on your tank so to help uh, with some of that aggression now i do want to show you this sunset monopora i just love it um it's it's not really a whole bunch of co different colors but you can see that green on there and then uh peach it's taking off since adding the t5s i know that you guys are like some of you guys are straight up leds some of you guys that are just starting off with the hobby are, are probably already t5 and now you want some leds but uh you can't go wrong with running both T5 and LED. You know, I've shown you guys before, and uh, that's just my preferred um, method of running my lights. And as you can see, my coral growth is pretty insane. Uh, it's doing really good, especially this uh, green slimer. You can see back in the day, if you've been following along, I did not get that frag like that. I got it like a little frag, and now... It's just growing up and doing good. Another good coral right here that I got from my buddy Matt. And uh, you can't really see the colors, but that's why I want to try to do a nighttime video. Uh, and so that way you guys can check it out. Well, guys, I appreciate you guys swinging by. Don't forget to use any of those codes uh, if you want a little bit of a discount. And uh, I'm just going to show you these uh, Reef Breeders and the T5 combo. I'm doing blue, coral plus, LED. Coral Plus Blue and Coral Plus. I'm going to finish up with this video of my uh, kiddo and band. And just so you know, this band right here represented and made it all the way to state. 
you guys have a good one like comment subscribe let me know what you bought and you guys have a good one guys take it easy you guys take care